Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In a fairly substantial piece of development news, Ryujinx has now got an experimental emulator version which has all of the shared fonts implemented. As you can see in this controller layout menu, they are fully implemented and now showing in this Nintendo Switch emulator. Let's now just wait for our continue screen to load. Super Mario Odyssey! And there we go, you can now see that all of these shared fonts are now being correctly rendered in our in-game menus. You can see when we come to our options menu, all of the text in all of these different tiles is now being correctly rendered. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is, I'm going to load into my game save in Sun Kingdom to show you exactly what the state of 3D rendering in Super Mario Odyssey on Ryujinx, this Nintendo Switch emulator is like. So here we are, now loaded into game in Super Mario Odyssey and Sand Kingdom. So, as you can see, in a fairly similar fashion, well, maybe not a similar fashion, it actually appears to be the exact opposite fashion of Yuzu, the other Nintendo Switch emulator. In-game 3D rendered graphics are, well, let's just say they're not exactly rendered correctly. While you can slightly make out that this is the ramp at the end of the Odyssey ship, and you can also make out that this is Mario at the very center of our screen, practically nothing else in this game scene is distinguishable. Now, while you can also see performance levels in the top left hand corner, what you need to be looking at is the game FPS of about 6, 7 or 8 FPS. I have it on very high authority that this number is going to double or triple in the coming days. Once any and all of these changes are merged to the main master build of Ryujinx emulator, I will make sure to let all of you guys know as soon as possible. As you can also see, once we enter snapshot mode, we are able to actually see all of the different filter types being shown in the top corner, as well as all of the input directions rendered on screen. Coming back into our game and pressing the map button, you can also see that all of the text and all of the fonts are also being correctly rendered in this area. So that's about it for this short little update video on Ryujinx, the Nintendo Switch emulator. Hopefully in the coming days and weeks we will see even more improvements not only to 3D rendering, but hopefully also to overall game compatibility in the emulator. Once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.